Yes, we do. She knows how to bring it. But this morning, she is getting serious about one of the biggest threats to men's health, prostate cancer. Early detection is key to survival, and Kim is with some stars in Santa Monica, shining a blue light on awareness. I'm in Santa Monica at the beautiful Casa Del Mar Hotel right on the Santa Monica Pier. And I'm here with Christine. She is with Prostate Cancer's Foundation's Light It Blue event, which is happening tonight. So tell me about why this is so important, how you guys are saving lives. Well, during September, which is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, we have a building, a landmark in all 50 states for the first time ever to bring attention to prostate cancer because this year alone, more than 30,000 men will die from this disease. But if you're diagnosed early and you get treated, you have almost a 100% chance of survival. So we want people to know about it and we want them to come to our website at PCF.org and get all the information. Okay, so what is like the recommended age that you suggest men go and get, get checked? Well, again, you need to go to PCF.org because it depends on your race and your family history. But generally we would say men 50 years or older should start getting checked. Get a blood test, understand what your PC PSA level is, know your risks, know your numbers, get treated, and we'll help you stay alive. And, and you guys have been around since 1993. You are making waves. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, so the organization was founded in 93 for 26 years. We've been funding critical research in the prostate cancer context. Today, our research touches more than 73 forms of human cancer, including the three most common in juveniles. But importantly, since we've been in existence, the death rate from prostate cancer has reduced by more than 50%. And we think around 1.5 million men are alive today wow. because of the research funded by this Congratulations. One of those men who is alive today is here right now. This is Jeff. Hi. You are a survivor. I am, yes. It's, it's very excited to be here. Really honored to be here. It's a special event. It's a special night. So tell me a little bit about your story and, and how you survived. Yeah, well, it all happened very, very quickly. Um, diagnosed a little bit more than a year ago. Uh, went from just your typical scenario where um, the, the PSA goes up and down, then it leads to MRI, which leads to biopsy, which ultimately led to surgery. And the whole thing was a couple of months, and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be just because I got out ahead of it and uh, just feel very fortunate. I am here right now with James Pickens Jr., one of the OGs <laughs> from Grey's Anatomy. And you play a doctor on TV, but yeah. why is yeah, it so... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but why is it so important for you to raise awareness and be here tonight speaking? Uh, well, I've had personal experience with prostate cancer. My father uh, was diagnosed with it before he passed some years ago. He had a couple of brothers who were also diagnosed with it as well. And as an African-American male, especially quote unquote, a mature one, you know, uh, one out of six uh, prostate cancer sufferers are African-American. And we, we got to find out why that that is more, that number is more prevalent among our community than any other. I'm here with Tommy Chong and his beautiful wife Shelby. So tell me a little bit about your story. You are a prostate cancer survivor. Yes I am. I'm a sur prostate cancer survivor. Barely. Bare <laughs> and, and it's, but it's all about early detection, right? Yeah, it was too late though. Why would you say for men to go now and get checked today? It's all about early detection, right? Yeah, absolutely, early detection. And for women too. You know, for cancer, right. you know, yeah. hey, go get your blood tested, you know, all the time. Oh, what a great foundation. Yeah. So, guys, please get out there and get yourself checked. You owe it to yourselves. And your families. And for yeah. more on all of our stories, check out our website at NBCCALive.com. Have a great rest of your Monday, everybody. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. We'll see you all soon. <laughs>